Hey, what's going on guys? It is Boost HD here. And as you can see, I'm just playing a bit of Mirror's Edge, just going through the story mode. So as, as you know, as I mentioned in my previous video, if you'd watched that, um, I said I went on a cruise for the past two weeks, which is why I didn't make any videos during that period. Uh, but I'm back now making more videos. And I'm back with not really much of a rant video, but it's kind of more of a frustration that when I went or when I planned to go, I decided not to take my DSLR camera or my Hitachi camcorder. I wanted to leave all the professional gear or professional gear here. I just wanted to take an inexpensive camcorder which I had lying around and I also took my iPod as well just to get some footage, just some family footage to, uh, and some videos and photos just to put on a DVD. And uh, I've come back now. I haven't really used the camcorder in a while so I completely forgot about all the format and everything with that camcorder. Uh, so I came back now. I came with tons of video footage, about 200 videos and about 100 photos uh, so I've all got that, that now sitting on the SD card and a while back now when I tried to well since I've had this camcorder I haven't really used it since I bought the Hitachi and the DSLR ca uh, camera um, but before that I, the only actual video editing software that I used was Windows Live Movie Maker so when I used to when I used to use the older camcorder I took on the cruise with me I used to try and uh, put those videos through and they never really seemed to work or be compatible with Windows Live Movie Maker and that was because the file uh, was using the AVI format. Uh, format that apparently isn't uh, compatible with a lot of uh, video editing softwares. So uh, really, I, 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 since I bought uh, Sony Movie Studio 12 and I'm now also using Premiere Pro, I thought that the AVI problem was just a problem uh, in itself with Windows Live Movie Maker. So when I tried to run these videos, or run, run these videos through uh, Sony Movie Studio, uh, the problem being is that again I was getting compatible well, compatibility issues, and every single time I uploaded that format through to uh, Movie Studio 12, the whole software would just crash on me constantly. I tried it numerous amount of times, so I thought, okay, so okay, it doesn't work with Windows Live Movie Maker, it doesn't work with uh, Sony Movie Studio 12. Let's try Adobe Premiere. Uh, put that straight through and you can probably guess what happened. It crashed again. It didn't accept it. Uh, this time I actually got a message actually telling me that it's not compatible with uh, Premiere Pro. So I thought it's got to be something to do with the AVI format. Now, I can, as you can imagine, trying to convert or trying to find a decent converter because I use, uh, um, I also use any video converter uh, to try and get this working. I used to use it previously before when it didn't used to work with Windows Live Movie Maker. So I used to use any video converter. I also have now recently downloaded Handbrake. I've been trying all sorts of um, we, uh, 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 videos. Uh, well, I've been trying all sorts of video conversion software. And uh, for some reason, I don't know if it's just me, but for some reason, it seems to downgrade the quality of the video, or take out some of the frames. Uh, the best one I've actually tried to use so far is uh, Handbrake, seems to be the best one to use. Uh, it seems to try and withheld the actual original format of the video rather than decreasing the quality. The rest of them seem to really either pixelate the video or cause audio issues or the, the image just becomes really, really uh, jit jittery and it's just not really smooth at all. So uh, that's a real problem when you're trying to convert 200 videos rather than just putting them all straight through the uh, video editing software. So, and, and the problem with using Handbrake or you even using any video or any video converter, uh, which is what the software is called, um, the problem is you can only actually put through so many videos at a time and the videos are quite lengthy. So they, do take, they do take quite some time to convert. So this is quite frustrating and if I if I'm here to give you any uh, any guidance at all, I would definitely say do not buy a camcorder that films in or records in AVI. It's just really problematic. Try and find another one that, that records in MOV, like the iPod, for example. At least I've got some of the footage on that rather than getting all on the camcorder. Uh, try and find, yeah, as I mentioned before, try and find a camcorder that films in MOV, MPEG, MP4, anything basically that is not uh, AVI because that is just a software, uh, uh, just a, a video format that just a lot of video, uh, video editing software just do not like and you really have to go through a long conversion method to try and get it sorted to rectify the problem. So now you guys in Boost HD here, thank you for watching, take care, this has been a very very small rant video about AVI uh, conversion and the problems with it. So now you guys in Boost HD here, thank you for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next video, bye for now.